Welcome back to the workshop, everyone. In today's video, I'll be introducing the next style of clutch type tap wrench I've been working on. This new design has a noticeably lower profile and it's capable of holding taps up to M14. In this simulation, you can see how it works. As the handles are pushed down just two millimeters, the one-way clutch immediately engages. That allows the handles to freewheel in reverse and then lock when driving the tap forward. By lifting the handles slightly, the magnets engage and hold the body in the up position, switching over to a fixed two-way drive. This smaller extendable T-type wrench uses exactly the same principle. Both of these designs let you tap and withdraw a hole without ever letting go of the handles. The mechanism also makes it really quick to engage the fixed clutch, perfect for breaking the chip when you're using hand taps. Here you can see the sub-assemblies for the larger tap wrench. The standard body has the square board out and a tapped plug fitted. The diameter's been turned to suit an 18mm Sprague clutch with an interference fit at the base for the washer. Here are the fixed drive cap and the body. The Sprague clutch, drive pins and magnets have all been fitted into the main body and the whole assembly is held together with three M4 screws. The vice jaws here just provide some friction to simulate the resistance you'd get when tapping by hand. It's a simple way to test how the clutch feels under load. For the T-type wrench, I've modified a standard 3 8 drive extension. It locates into a square recess in the fixed drive cap and is held in place with an M5 screw. The assembled body slides over the drive pin and locates neatly in the bore of the sprag clutch. A standard tap holder then clicks straight onto the square drive end of the pin. The rotating cap has a register for a pointed tap follower which is held in place magnetically. The tubular handles are fitted with M8 grub screws at each end to secure both the balls and the body. And for those times when you need a little extra reach, you can use standard 3 8 extensions it all fits together nicely. Once again, I'm using the soft jaws in the vise to add a bit of friction and simulate the tapping process. So that's the overview of the new clutch type tap wrench designs. A lower profile, more control and easier operation without ever losing grip. I'm still refining a few details but I'm really pleased with how these are coming together. Thanks for watching and as always, I appreciate you spending some time in the workshop with me. See you in the next one.